Debbie Guys here from Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 112 titled What Do You Think You're Doing? I don't know why I said it like that. I guess I was trying to shake so much. Ah, whatever. Anyways, this chapter starts off not where last chapter left, left off, but we get more in, in NASA's background, like backstory. And I guess it was kind of like giving us more than we got last chapter. So I know a lot of people weren't happy, and it wasn't the greatest thing of why NASA hates. Endeavor and Todoroki like he didn't give him autograph and that's why he hates him but like I said last chapter it was more about like what Endeavor like 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 what he like what he gave to the hero side like who he was the hero and that's what didn't like he believed that wasn't what a hero truly was he didn't like the idea of Endeavor being like number two hero and having the wrong motives and this chapter kind of like still like it gives us more like Stand front on that. Like we see Nasa like telling me, oh, he's never fearful. He loves a lot of things. See him loving bugs, and we see him want to be a hero. And then he goes more. We see Endeavor, and he just does like Endeavor's look, and it's all right. Honestly, it's okay. It's not the best thing. I don't know. I guess people were kind of looking for more tragic. I guess something more tragic to that Endeavor did to like Nasa's like family to him that made him like suffer. But this. It wasn't, I guess it wasn't what people, what, what people were expecting. It wasn't what I was expecting. It's alright. I do like, like, I like the idea of, like, it, it's like, it's, I like the idea of it not being, like, the true image of a hero. And that's what, like, Stain was all about. The hero killer, that's what he hated how, how heroes acted. And I guess it's, like, kind of what, not, like, how not to use Endeavor. He hates what, what Endeavor stands for. And, like, just the look in his eyes and have time for everybody. And he just is, he isn't there for the right things. And I guess, like, Rambled on a little bit too much, but I can't understand what they mean. Anyway, this chapter, and honestly, it's a, it's a Todoroki and not this chapter. And pretty much, we see some stuff in like Todoroki, like wind. Oh, that's the guy. I don't know how he didn't. I don't know how Todoroki didn't notice that the guy using the wind, the one who directed his flames, was Hinata. Like, even if you like, how did you not notice him from the beginning of the hero, uh, hero exam? I don't like. I don't understand how he just came that oblivious and he didn't notice him standing right there, like. They were talking to each other, and ha, ha, whatever, whatever, kind of, kind of rambling on there. But we just, we just see more Taroki. Like, ah, uh, like I've done it again. I've held back my past. I've held. I've, I gotta embrace who I truly am. And like, we see them try to take on the Orca Whale. Oh boy. Oh, oh. boy, that was not pretty. Not, not pretty at. Oh, oh my god. They get wrecked. Wrecked so hard. Oh. <laughs> I honestly wish or the Orca whale. I don't, know, I don't remember his Orca, I guess his way of name is. I really wish it was a villain because he's a really badass quirk. First we see like, he's like, I want to go to the bridge and just knocks out Inasa. And then just drops to the floor. And then we see Todoroki like, try to go after him. Boom, knocks the floor. And then we skip over, we see, we see, we see, basically we see where like that left off with Shindu. And like, he's like, oh, I gotta like, I gotta rescue the, the like the old guys. And we see Orca's like gang members trying to run off from like part of the exam and go after them. And we see like Shindu with his last vibe, like will of his power, like just to like earthquake and break down and just save all the villains. So uh, I'm, not, I'm liking Shindu's character. Not gonna lie, I really like Shindu's character. I really hope we can see more from after on, but it was it was explained that we did see that Shindu got direct blow where Inasa didn't really get direct blow. He was kind of distanced, that's why he was still kind of not full paralyzed. And basically, the chapter ends off. We see Toradoki and Inasa. I honestly like how it ended, but I don't like like where it went. Like the ending was really really good from like a story perspective, but like I wasn't the path that I wanted to go to. Like we see like. Todoroki and Nessa, I, I believe that those final pages with them seeing the exact same thing to each other. Oh, we should have noticed the differences. Like, we are not compatible with each other. Like, we should, like, sort the differences afterwards. And they basically end the fight when we see them. It's like a mixed, like, wind and fire attack. And just blows up, like, not blows up, but, like, sweeps Orca off. And that's kind of where the chapter ends. Kind of a little, I don't know. This chapter was alright to me. It was, it was honestly alright. Honestly, it's really sorry about that. It really is alright. Um, there's some things that like I guess I just didn't like how it seems like Inasa and Todoroki made up and that, was, that seemed a little weird to me like it was 
like this whole heart, like, I guess the main part of like this one of the most interesting part of this arc was that Nasa, the guy who let she get too high, was did not like Toroki at all and he hated him. And now all of a sudden, like they seem like they're working together. I get it, like they're working together for the hero life exam. I just hope that after this chapter, we don't see them all buddy buddy. I still want that little bit of rage. I want them. I want a little more out of it. I want more out of it. I want more of a rivalry for Toroki. Something, something that I want something more. I don't know if that really makes sense and all, but hopefully, like, I just don't want the buddy buddy system going. Anyways, there was also mention that the, well, not mentioned, but was said, but the examiners are like they're basically done for Toroki and Inasa. So I really don't. They're probably gonna pass. Maybe, maybe not. Though the deads, the did they say that if you go below 50, you feel no matter what. So I can see Toradoki and Inasa both failing. I would, I would be pretty okay with that. Honestly, pretty pretty okay with that. It seems like Deku's gonna pass. Like I, I don't know how like you don't make the main character pass. It's gonna happen. But I, I can see Deku passing right now. Even Shindu passing. I don't I don't know what everyone else is up to, but yeah. Anyways, this is been, guys. This has been an okay. It was an okay chapter to me. I did enjoy like the ending moments. We're all like talking, like saying they realize their mistakes at the same time. And we got a little more of Nessa's background, which is still isn't the greatest. I, I don't know. The Oracle stuff was great. Him just going pure savage. That I loved. But anyways, I'll see you for chapter 113. See you next week.